I, I did more like granola bars or uh, I don't know other other grabbable munchables applesauce uh, yeah fresh fruit I'm trying to think of the stuff I had like growing up instead of cheese crackers you know like captain's wafers had those You up for lunch tomorrow? Porter steak, potato puree, Brussels sprouts, wine reduction, pork lion, blackberry jelly. That's lunch tomorrow? Am I cooking? <laughs> Am I cooking? Brussels sprouts are a lot of season. I made a bad choice there. Sounds good though. Okay, I think I'm good here. This will be badass's veg plate. I will make into her fried rice. Whenever it's about time for that, we are going to salt this. I have some fake cheese that's not only really good. Seven dollars, yeah. I've had, I've had some fake cheeses that are not bad. Um... Just not worth it to me. Like, <laughs> I'll be honest. I'd rather have, um, yes, try tip. I'd rather have no cheese or no dairy, or just go in and have the real thing, right? And just deal with the consequences. I'd rather have that than have fake cheese, right? The exception being, I'll, I'm okay with them. Um, like non-dairy milks. I like non-dairy milks. All right, that's the exception to the, but like when it comes to ice cream or, or cheese or anything like that, I'd rather just, just rather have ice cream or cheese. <laughs> How'd you graduate from culinary school if all you're playing is nothing? It's easy. Most of the stuff you do at culinary school, you don't have to plan for. Right? It's called a lesson plan. And someone else came up with that. <laughs> right? You just have to figure out what to do with yourself for all that time. Local bistro, nice. Okay, I take this outside and uh, I'll come back and turn the camera on. Ah, shoot. Yo, it's a grasshopper, a brown one. Brown grasshopper. Maybe it's a cricket, actually. It's been a minute since I've seen a cricket. A brass hopper. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A brass hopper. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I wonder why it's here. Like I said, it's been a minute since I've seen a cricket. A 
Hold still. Hold still, chat. Don't fall off. Oh god, you're falling. <laughs> I said don't fall off, you little bastards. You don't listen? I had to catch you. You're supposed to hold on. You're supposed to hold on. Pay attention. Where'd the grasshopper go? He's chilling somewhere. He dipped. God, it's so loud out there. <laughs> it's crazy the, the change. Oh, hey, Rue, what's up? Earthquakes? <laughs> it was shaking. Yo, what up, Black? Brick it? You're allergic to green? Oh, it's too easy. Oh, that's alright, I'll change it then. I'll change it. Are you close to road? Yeah. There's a... Actually, you guys are looking at it. You're looking at the highway. It's... It's through the trees. Shut the fuck up! You might be able to see it. I doubt it, but you might. I forgot to get my cherry wood. There's like cars passing back there. I don't know, it's probably uh... It's probably like... 800 feet away. Maybe a little bit more. All right, we're gonna put this meat on the grill here. I'll point you at it. All right, close on. I'm just gonna take the last of the flavor, the oil, get that on there on the outside. And then I gotta go get my, my smoke. Allergic to the highway? Well, I think most people are. I actually looked it up. It's pretty bad for your health to uh, live this close to the highway. Um, it's one of the reasons I try to keep my window closed at night. I used to open it in the winter. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's very good for your health. What am I looking for? My apple wood. looking cars <laughs> yeah they're not really t traditional cars in fact the only way to really ride on them is to knock them over and uh, hollow them out and then run them on water they're like a water car more more so I'm gonna move, move you guys off the grill just because the grill tends to be very hot. So you guys can sit in the chair and kick back and relax, enjoy the out of doors. Let me know if you see any critters, especially squirrels. I'm looking to make dinner. 
Activate Procedure X, Order 66. <laughs> Procedure X, hold on, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Hold your horses. Procedure X, begin. Initiate. <laughs> Gotta go. Gotta go fast. <laughs> there you go. There's another one. We got two. We got two Bebops. Thanks for noticing. That makes you a pretty cool person. Hashtag mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> 66. Imagine you're a stormtrooper, or not a, st a clone trooper, and you're on like social media. Hashtag 66 happened today. It was rough out there for them Jedi. Oh. What a great song. Okay, let's do potatoes now, I guess. We got that beef out there. Let's do some potatoes. And for this veg, we're just gonna salt and let it sit. My dance emote, I mean, it'll happen eventually, for sure. I am moving things along. Uh, you guys, I don't know if you saw, I know Lara saw, but I put up the, the reading competition. So if you want to win one of those candles, uh, all you got to do is go into the discord, go to the read me your chicken section, choose one, read it out, record yourself, send it to me, or... Alternatively, on the day of, which will be the 29th, um, you can just call in to the stream and read it live, depending. So there's two ways to submit, either live or recorded. I would like to know how many people are going to be competing. So if you decide to do it on the day of, uh, you got to let me know that you're going to do it. Mm -mm. Thanks for rubbing in that I can't read. Hey, blame your teachers, not me. Okay, I had nothing to do with that. Yeah, all right. Don't blame me for that. <coughs> Pardon. going on here but well, why do we want to read them oh you uh, the top three people will win one of the uh, the way bread candles it's a it's a convenient way to do the, the giveaway for the candles and we only got three candles and those who uh, who do the best reading will earn one one candle from Begonia and Bench. But if you don't want to read, you can always go snag yourself one over at begoniaandbench.com or use exclamation mark candle in chat. Click the link. Get 10% off at purchase. It's true. It's true. 
get yourself the way bread candle. Soon there'll be two way bread candles. Two of them. Cause that bourbon, uh, bourbon one is in the works. Can you make fish a muck? Fish a muck? Is that the English word a muck? As in run a muck? Or am I, is the spelling of that different? No, that's not the right smelling. A M O S A M O K is not the right smelling. I was just a confused little soul. It's <laughs> fair. Yes. Remember rule number one. <laughs> Y'all asked for this, okay? This. This, this came about as a suggestion that I took you up on. And by you, I mean the collective you, even though it was only one person. That's just how chat works, okay? <laughs> Are we? Is that what we're listening to? The hell? Give context for the chicken book? Um, yeah, I have a book here called Fifty Shades of Chicken, and wait, like lore context? Anyway, I have a book here called Fifty Shades of Chicken that I've, I've read out of on stream as a joke a couple times, um, and basically the book is written from the perspective of a chicken. And it's obviously a parody of Fifty Shades of Grey. Right. It's a parody of Fifty Shades of Grey. And it's written by a chicken about the person cooking the chicken. <laughs> is, that, is that enough context? Or do we need more context than that? Chickens can't write though, call them bullshit. Well, apparently this one can. Very um, spicy writing style too. <laughs> Very spicy writing style. Agreed. Saucy, agreed. If you don't make fish a muck, I'm going to run a muck. Uh oh. Uh oh. Running a muck. It's uh, frowned upon in certain circles. Talented chicken. <laughs> extra. This chicken is extra. It was a Narnian chicken. That is a, that's a good point. It's a good point. Chicken doesn't really talk about itself very much. Well, outside of, you know, communicating its wants and desires. I demand Lion Jesus to be revealed. <laughs> Lion Jesus, show yourself. This freaking song? You can't escape this song anywhere, chat. Mm -hmm -hmm. Uh, let me look it up. Splits. Let me look it up. Fish amok. Fish amok. Ah, wrapped. It's wrapped. Coconut milk, white fish, kefir, lime, zest, fish sauce. 
Have I had this before? Maybe. <laughs> Maka fish. <laughs> Stupid fish. <laughs> hey now, hey, 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 you gotta be like that. Mm -mm -mm. Steamed. It's not a muck tray. So there's two different versions of this. Two, two different. Well, I'm sure there's way more than two, but. The apparent. I'm, I need water. I need water, chat. Feeling a little uh, lightheaded. Right back. Is this the motherfucking onion? Yeah, it's the motherfucking onion. The fuck you wanna say about it, huh? You wanna talk about my motherfucking onion? Better watch your fucking mouth. Talk about my motherfucking onion. Just browsing what's on the menu. Menu today is uh, smoked beef tri-tip. And we're gonna put that with a crispy red potato hash. Um, I'm gonna just probably chop up some veg, quick sear on a lot of it, and toss it in there with the tomato vinaigrette. That's the plan. I'm excited. Tri-tip's out there on the smoker right now, which is where I was <laughs> just a second ago. Talking from the void. And uh, I'm also making some vegetarian fried rice for a friend of mine to come pick up, but that's a side note, it's not really on the menu. Not really on the menu so much as it's just being made. It'll be on stream. <laughs> Waste the brown outer layer of the onion? What do you mean? This bitch? Of course I took that off. I don't know about wasting it. I don't really have a compost section, so I can't really compost it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know anybody who eats that. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can compost it. Do, 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 do. What do you do with it? Put in an old kettle with some flake salt. Burn. Oh, you carbonize that stuff? What do you do with it after carbonizing it? That sounds sick. Why an old kettle? Okay, elaborate. I need more information. If you're using charcoal, put it on the coals for added aroma. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, I mean, I got my thing going right now. Hell yeah. That's fire, dude. Where'd you learn that? Also, I'm still curious what you do with the with the carbonized onion that you do, I assume, outside your house, as you wouldn't really want to carbonize inside. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put it right next to the uh, the apple wood. Crackly. good tip thank you burning the dry layer with flake salt gives the salt a smoky onion aroma 
Do, do, do. So you're actually seizing the salt there. Fair enough. I thought you were going to tell me something sick to do with the uh, onion ash. Which would have been pretty cool. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Would have been pretty cool if you were giving us an onion ash recipe. I'd have been down with it. I might even have done it on the spot. It's okay. It's okay. I'm only, I'm only slightly saddened. Not like super saddened, but slightly saddened. Yeah, I, I see that now. We're using, we're doing the salt, not the ash. Uh, but that's okay. I'll figure out something to do with the ash. <laughs> I guarantee there's something you can do with the ash. Do 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 do. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Do I hear salt peanuts playing? We have trees. Yeah, look, check them. Check them trees. Those are cars. <laughs> yeah. Um, sorry. I misspoke. We have cars, not trees. I don't know what I was saying earlier. <laughs> Splits. How many times? <laughs> I'll give you the standard disclaimer. I'll run the poll. Um, what is this poll anyway? Uh, but the answer, the answer, it doesn't matter what chat says, okay? It doesn't matter. <laughs> they can't make me do anything. I refuse to be made to do things. All right, pulls up at the top. Um, answer whether or not you'd like to see a Cambodian fish amok stream. Again, <laughs> knowing that your answers mean nothing and this is not a democracy. Ah, suckers. Plenty of trees where I live? Cars or trees? I got, I got so many cars. Do, 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 do. I just got back inside from my garden. It's 94 degrees out. Oh yeah. That's how it is. I don't give a fuck about your poll. Uh, what do you mean? Sorry, I meant your votes matter. Uh, you know, and they're super important when you put your vote in the poll. <laughs> I only vote when my... My vote has no meaning, so you mean always. You mean always. <laughs> Voting no, because I like the drama. Yo, what up, Coyote? How are you? Happy Monday. Good to see you. Welcome back. What you need the ice for? Do -do 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 -do. Talking of gambling with fake money. Black's losing it all. Professional. Professional at losing it all. You were, you were about to ask that? I was curious. I figured pause didn't say it for no reason. You know? I'm sure. Just didn't say it for no reason. Barbecuing chicken thighs and skirt steak. What's uh, what you making? What's the plan for those chicken thighs and skirt steak? Who would vote no? I don't know, somebody, somebody who likes the drama. That's who would vote no. What do you think? I voted no, it was me. No corn, because you people are vicious. Look, we can't be blamed. We can't be blamed that your corn was super pale. Even you saw that. Even you can agree that that corn was super pale. 
<laughs> what am I gonna do with that? Right? Am I right or am I right? I'm right. You don't need to tell me. Oh, I already know that I'm right. Five people voted yes. How many people voted no? My starting ingredients sucked. Fair? Fair? Is this where we hit him with the, a good chef? <laughs> Never blames the ingredients. Kappa, that's totally not true. A really good chef would be like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not using these fucking ingredients. These things suck. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Actually, I mean, you would think that even still, you'd be able to make something good with the ingredients, but like, depends on the scenario, I suppose. <laughs> Darkfire, thanks for the sub, the tier one. Welcome to the Cleaver Club. Uh, thank you so much for dropping that sub. Really appreciate it. You're very kind. I will never neither confirm nor deny anything. How come I didn't get a sub alert? Or could I just not hear it over the musical stylings? Hmm? Killer ceviche, and only thing anyone notices is the corn. Well, guess what? Okay, all right, you've done it now. You've done it now. You've done it now. <laughs> Yo, that you actually clowning you? All right, all right. Here, let me just, let me just, just let me just give you, let me just give you something here. All right, all right. We're just gonna snag it and put it up on screen. This chat is that you is Can One's. Uh, uh, this is Can One's picture. Can you? Can you tell me, oh no, tell me why everyone's talking about the corn? Can anyone, anyone, why do you think everyone's talking about the corn? I'm going to give you one guess. It's because it's. Right the fuck here! <laughs> right the fuck here! It's right in front. It's right in front. It's the only thing we can see. Right? It takes up so much of your plate. Of course we're gonna look at it and be like, hmm, this corn's kind of pale, huh? It's kind of some pale corn, huh? Ceviche does look very nice, very delicious. You should put that in front and put the corn to the side. <laughs> Alright, enough of this. Enough of this. Enough. Enough. I do love. <laughs> it was a quick thing. I do love Dachu posting uh, posting his picture like right after that. <laughs> look at this shit. This shit's hilarious. Dachu just like, here, look. Look at it. <laughs> uh. That's funny. That is funny. <laughs> what corn? <laughs> subtle Dattry Troll. Subtle? He adds can one. He's not subtle at all. <laughs> he literally added them and said, look at this corn. Look at it. <laughs> not subtle. He's just straight up rude about it. He said, do, do your shit better, huh? Do it better. I've been liking the music we get uh, off of the off of the Cowboy Bebop playlist now. 
Mm, 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 mm. Don't get cuts like the tomahawk? Um, I like them if you're sharing. I've never understood like going to a steakhouse and just ordering the tomahawk for yourself. I mean, I guess if you want to just have a meat experience, I get that. It's a nice cut. It's got a lot of flavor in it, but I don't know. It's huge. <laughs> it's huge. I get it for sharing and I get it for aesthetic, I think. Give me a skirt steak any day. I'll take a skirt steak over tomahawk any day. <laughs> a two-handed mauling weapon. Yeah, I think that was, uh, that was to beat away people who came after his corn. That's <laughs> when you're headed to can one's pick and turn around and go to Datcher's instead. Uh, all clad sale. What up, Benny Fresh? All clad sale. Hold on. All clad second sale. Bunch of ads in the way. Factory second sale, April 2022. Where do we get it? Aha, at all clad site. All right, appreciate that. I just popped it open. <laughs> Goat kid leg. Nope, not me. Hmm. No. Can't really say I've ever had access. Tomahawks are so fun. Like the throwing ones or uh, or the, the meat one? The throwing ones are great. I will agree. <laughs> throwing tomahawks is a great time. A very great time. <laughs> you know? I agree with that. You can throw the steak too, but why would you? <laughs> yeah, I suppose you could throw the steak too. It just seems very questionable. A ding on a pan you can hardly see. That's, that's, that's what I want. Give me those factory seconds. Give me those low priced, still epic pans. Steak throwing is a thing? Where? <laughs> Who be doing this? Who's out here throwing steaks around? You know what's funny is like, I would totally believe that steak throwing is a real thing. It sounds like it should be a real thing. So it would only make sense that it's a real thing. What a waste of a good steak. I mean, depends on where you're throwing it. If you're throwing it into my plate, I'm done. Sure. If you cook the steak like my grandmother would. <laughs> Uh, touche, touche. What do I need? A little bit of ginger, I think. Save all this stuff for my stock. Put this in the stock area. And we'll get a little bit of ginger going. My dog wants to know where they throw the steaks. <laughs> Asking for my dog. Fastest runner wins the stake. Um, I would have sworn I wasn't out of ginger. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Look at the video. Look, look. Wait, this is a real. 
I thought this was a wind-up, I'm not gonna lie. This is a real thing. <laughs> Look at that knob of ginger, that's a nice knob. Would you like to spoon my knob of ginger? Uh, smoke tri-tip with potato hash and tomato vinaigrette. That's what we're making tonight. And also I'm making fried rice for my friend. For badass. Who wanted me to make some fried rice. And forking is not right on the stream. Random! What's up, Random? Thanks so much for the raid. Welcome in, everybody. Steak to the face. He saw it in Napoleon Dynamite. That's a movie I haven't seen in ages. Mm -mm -mm. Random bat home. You ditched me for way. Uh, yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah, you did. And thank God he did. We've been talking about stowing, throwing steaks. It's true. Cake, what's up, Cake? Happy Monday. Doing well, doing well. Please, Laura, don't hit me. <laughs> what? What's happening out there? We talked about my rustic frosting. You got rustic frosting? And can one's pale corn. Yeah, we were talking about can one's pale corn. In can one's defense, there was some char on his corn. It's just not immediately visible in the picture because it was only a small amount of char. In can one's, albeit meager defense. <laughs> okay. Uh, there was some on there. The one spot he forgot about. Oh no, not like this. This doesn't count. <laughs> what do you mean? It has to count, right? It has to count for something. He got some kachar on it. I put a rebuttal pick? Oh no. Oh no. You know, this is how we got the cap off. The same way. This is how we created the cap off. Corn is always in season. How are you t what? what? This man just say corn is always in season? No questions. All right, potatoes are done. Prep is mostly done for the fried rice. I'll uh, chop some basil, some Thai basil leaves later, but that's pretty much done. What else? What's next on the docket? Guess we go take a look at that piece of meat. Chat, you ready to go take a look at that piece of meat? Let's go take a look at it. Let me turn you guys back on. Let me turn you back on. Nice trees. How did the uh, how did the cupcakes come out, random? Good, I hope. That's looking pretty nice. It's looking pretty nice. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here, flies. Can't even leave me alone when I'm out here on my grill. Looks like we need to add a little bit more uh, apple wood, or cherry wood rather. The onion was a good tip though. I uh, definitely can, it's in the smoke, it's in the air, I can smell it. Where is my extra cherry wood at? 
I know I had a couple pieces. What did I do with it? Maybe I brought them back in. What's up, Slop? It was the most expensive steak you ate? You could have used... No, I did use it, pause. I did it the second you said it. I was like, that's a damn good idea. And I just took it out there. I took what I had and put it out there. God damn it. I, I was hoping I didn't need to go back in here. But yeah. Oh, no, I don't. I did use it. It was a great tip. If you toss some of the fat onto the coals, you get a touch of the charbroiled flavor via the smoke. Indeed. I actually did that earlier. So I like to sometimes start my smokes by putting the, putting the protein right over the right over the heat, right, to get a nice sear going on the, on the outside. And in that process, we of course get, we get a little drippage right into the flames. And then I move it off, you know, and just go with the smoke. Saved. So if I'm thrown into the coals, you get some nice flavor in the smoke. No? No? Only had tried tip once. More a fan of ribeye. I do like ribeye. I feel like tri tips, it's kind of in its own category now. It's like, um, it's like basic brisket, you know? Uh, again, though, skirt steak still always top of my list for for favorite steaks. Skirt and hanger, those are my favorites. Why does it sound like the Incredibles theme? Uh, later, random. Thanks for lurking. Thanks for dropping in. Appreciate you bringing all the peoples over to hang out. Right, we're gonna get some Wishishir and some uh, balsamic. As well as, I guess I'll finally tap the last of the orange blossom vinegar. Let's grab some tomato product. I don't have any fresh tomatoes today. I did go to the veg stand today, but they didn't have any tomatoes in house, and I wasn't willing to like wait around until they until they got delivered today. So no fresh tomatoes for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wagyu. That sounds exciting. That sounds exciting. I've only had um, Japanese Wagyu once. Uh, and it was very expensive. <laughs> oh my god. It was pricey. It's honestly hard, hard for me to say if it was worth the price. Like, it was amazing. Uh, no cap, it was, it was fantastic. But like, we paid a ridiculous amount for like a couple ounces each. And it's just like, it's hard to say whether a couple ounces of Wagyu is worth. That is an experiment, or not experiment, experiential purchase for sure. I guess unless you go to Japan. And then it's, you know, a little, a little better. Where the fuck? Yes, okay. I knew I bought some and I was just like, what the heck? happened to it. 
I always buy tomato paste. Like when I go past the tomato aisle, I usually stock up because I don't want to not have any, but I couldn't find it in there. Steak is the most irritating thing in my opinion. If you have ventilation in a hot as shit pan, there's basically nothing separating a home cook from steak greatness. Um, true. You gotta get that pan ripping hot though. Ripping. I almost never buy steak when I'm out to be, to be 100% honest. As, um, for that very reason. I just don't see the purpose. I don't see the point in buying steak on, on the go. So I almost never buy it when I'm out. I, I think um, the more creative options are usually what I go to. Something interesting on the menu. I don't want a steak. <laughs> okay. Is this TF2? This is TF2, right? It is! Uh, God, it's been ages since I played this game. <laughs> Yo, we should play TF2 sometime. How many people in this stream play TF2? <laughs> Could we get a full server together? I fucking love TF2. I'm sure there's like, I know that there are still people playing it because, you know, it's a good game. But how many people actually play or have played TF2? Or would be interested in joining and playing TF2? Like, if you played Overwatch and never played TF2, you should probably play TF2. <laughs> I'm just saying, you gotta know where they stole most of their, <laughs> most of their game from. Fair enough. Adventuristic, is it Fnatic? Adventuristic Fnatic, thanks for the, thanks for the follow, welcome in. TF2 as in Team Fortress 2? Yes, Team Fortress 2. Team Fortress 2. Boys only. Wow. That's not true. <laughs> Don't listen to Black. Don't listen to him. TF2 never dies. Exactly. I don't know how many people are playing it right now, but I don't think the game will ever die. Well, I hope it never dies. I guess it'll die when, when millennials die off. I think I played it back in the day. Yeah. Uh, when did it come out? So long ago. TF2. Uh, release. 2007. Damn. <laughs> Everything dies. True. Everything has its day. There seems to be a bot problem in TF2. You're a spy, you dirty bastard. This guy's a spy main. Actually, I think I main spy too. I mained, uh, I, it's hard to say. I put a lot of hours in that game. I played a lot of spy. I played a lot of NG. A decent amount of sniper and a decent amount of scout. Uh, I'd have to look at my stats. I honestly don't remember. Uh, to be 100%, I don't remember. But I enjoyed playing Spy. I think my favorite dagger was the uh, the icicle with the cloak and that. No, the dead ringer. The dead ringer was my shit as Spy. <laughs> It was so good. How many hours? I'd have to go look. Let's go look. 
I actually think this game is so... It was back in the day. It just might have been pre... Me having my own Steam account. And I used to play it on my dad's account. Let me go look. Team Fortress 2, where you at? Where you at, homie? Yeah, this was... This was pre... Um, me having my own account on Steam. I only have 100 hours on... Uh, on my account. Mm -mm -mm. But it's like the only game I used to play. And then I got into Dota. I'm old enough to have played Doom 1 and 2 on <laughs> 486. Not me. That is cool though. I honestly wish. Maybe I should play all the Doom games. I should go back and play some of the old, early ones. I've seen playthroughs, but that doesn't really mean... I, I'd like to give it a go. I'd like to play it out once, once or twice. Doo, 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 doo. You put 2,500 hours into Gary's mod? Huh? <laughs> huh? That's a lot of Gary's mod hours. The luxury of mouse aim. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dang. Non-mouse aiming. Sounds like console life. Love Gmod. Apparently. <laughs> Apparently, if you have 2,500 hours in it. I didn't really know what to do with Gmod, I'll be honest. Like, I had it installed and I, like, went in there. And I had no idea what to do with it. I just was like, what do we do here? We just summon stuff and then beat it up? But I was, uh, I was antisocial. Uh, <laughs> as like as like a young adult, I was very antisocial, even on the internet. I was like, you know what? I don't want to talk to people. Fuck you guys. <laughs> so I mostly just uh, I mostly just would play and you know go no mic and just hang out, shoot people. Didn't really team up too often. Team up with some people, but. Usually there are people I already knew. Duke Nukem. <laughs> I've got balls of steel. Mm -mm. Half-Life 2 RP? Holy hellfire. Yeah, that, that one, uh... That's definitely not something I would have done. <laughs> RP, that, that's, that's the opposite of what I would be doing. I definitely did not want to talk to people. When we play Half-Life 3, whenever they release it. It's Half-Life 2 serious RP? What the heck is serious RP? Well, I mean, I take that back. I take that sentence back. I know what serious RP is. But why are you why are you specifically noting denoting the seriousness of it? I need a new rig. Oh man, me too. Me too. Mine's not that old. Not not quite eleven years old, but mine's like eight something. With minor upgrades here and there. <laughs> Definitely one of the things that I'll rebuild when I have money. <laughs> way too in-depth 
I was deeply rooted in a community at a few points in my life. You <laughs> don't fuck around. Oh, okay, I see. You gotta abide by the RP rules, you're saying. Serious RP. Okay. This is serious RP. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like all serious RPers sound like, this is serious RP. How dare you have fun, okay? Don't you dare. Don't you dare break character, okay? I will call the mods. I know the admin of this server. And your RP is just not my kind of RP. <laughs> I don't know why I think all serious RPers sound like that. I know they don't, but still. How dare you? Please be careful with our imaginary reality. I mean, that I understand. I understand having RP rules, and I, and I understand, like, wanting it to be 100% immersive. I get that. That makes sense. <laughs> I just don't know why, when enforcing your RP rules in your 100% immersion, you gotta... <laughs> it feels like every time they come with the same, like pissy attitude. How dare you? How dare you? You have no respect. You have no respect for the craft. It's like, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. No respect for the craft. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Serious RP only. I put too much time into building the lore and communities I was in. No, I think that I think that's uh, I think that's lovely to be honest. I think building and crafting and creating a world. I mean, that's never gonna not be cool, right? Those are the those are the those are the DMs. You know, those are the people who who make campaigns fun. Th those are, you know. Storytellers, writers. I, I see no problem with that. I think that's super cool. Building out, building out a whole world. I mean, I've done it myself. Never, never in RP or or even um, D and D. But you know, I have a couple books on the shelf. <laughs> Not on the shelf, but like I have them written. <laughs> no one will ever see them. <laughs> But that doesn't matter. I still did it. It'd be cringe as hell to read those today. Nerds. Okay, Zerato. Okay. Doesn't like cool stuff. I know the admin of this server. All right, I can have you kicked and expelled and blacklisted in 15, 15 different counties. Zerato, how dare you call us nerds? This is what we do. How dare you make fun of us for having a passion? <laughs> I have D&D &D on Wednesday. Hell yeah, you do. Hell yeah, you do. Nerds new meta. That is true, though. Though I think that was always inevitable. Like Thanos. It was inevitable that nerds would become the, 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 the cool. So I guess, you know, I don't know. If you think about it, it's like ner nerds were always cool. They were always into cool shit, right? Because what's, what's not cool that nerds are into? Fucking superheroes? Those are cool. <laughs> Magic powers, those are cool. Super epic monsters and adventures, those are cool. Spaceships, cool. You know? 
there's a lot of cool things that nerds are into. So it's like, you're just denying what's cool to make yourself feel better about not being able to enjoy freaking guys with lasers shooting giant bugs. Sorry, you're not cool, man. Eating glue. <laughs> Yeah, you can you can huff you can huff glue. That's cool. <laughs> In the back, huffing glue. Destined to be a pizza man your whole life. This is coming this summer. Small town jock. Only in select theaters. Nobody wants to see that shit. <laughs> you kids have never lived. Uh, that's why he's vaped so much. It all makes sense now. <laughs> Literally the youngest one. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Somehow I doubt that. I feel like there are people who haven't been here in a while who are actual kids, <laughs> right? There were some actual kids who used to hang out in the stream, which, you know, questionable. Questionable. But they were here. They were out here. Ow. <laughs> that hasn't happened in a while. 20, 24 this October. True. Where are their parents? I don't know. Okay. Their parents are letting them browse Twitch. Kids suck. <laughs> the life out of you. Because they, they take so much energy and money. 23, I was immortal. Were you? I mean, I guess you're still here, so yeah, it's possible. That theory is accurate. Out of your bachelor. That's a terrible joke. <laughs> ban yourself. <laughs> ban, ban yourself for that segue. You can't segue off of a kid's joke. That that's not okay. My sister. We cannot live in more different worlds. I think that's yeah. That's super accurate. <laughs> Lies. How do you think the kids got here? Uh, what? Um, what? Yo, what up, Kay? We're, uh, we're smoking a tri-tip, and I'm making a little, uh, tomato vinaigrette and crispy potatoes to go with it. Put um, maybe we put some Thai basil into the vinaigrette. Be pretty good. Who brought up the kids? Um, ba Black. Black did. <laughs> I dare you to call your dad a motherfucker and see him deny it. That's true. Every dad is a motherfucker. 
Assassin's Creed. Got some Valhalla in. That's cool. I I feel like I haven't played Assassin's Creed since three. I mean, I I, think I dicked around with a couple of them. The pirate one I messed around with. The Native American one I messed around with. This bad boy's looking delicious. Can't wait to crack into this. Ban yourself. You're limited to one crab rave per stream. Are you? Did I limit it to one per person? I might have. <laughs> I might have. It was getting too much. It's getting too heavy. Let me go look at the rules on Crab Rave real quick. Uh, let's go check it out. Where is it? I have to go to actual creator dashboard. That's annoying. I'll do it. I won't like it, but I'll do it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Crab rave. Shh, quiet sauce, quiet you. Here we go. Rules. Limit redemptions per user per stream. One. Yeah. Yeah, you got, you're down to one. Dang, chat, it's crazy. One per user per stream. Has that happened yet? Yeah, I'm famous now. Thank you. Thanks for helping to make that happen. It wouldn't happen without you, that's what I'll say. And it's, it's the truth. Would never have happened without you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, chap. I don't know what time what's her face is coming over here. So I don't know when to start making the rice. I guess I could just wait till she gets here and then make it to order. That's easy enough. This bad boy smells great. Kind of smells like bacon. Is no surprise because of the smoke. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. What's her face? Rude. How's that rude? Everyone gets called what's their face by me at some point. You know who I'm talking about. I know who I'm talking about. What's what's the problem? What's the problem? <laughs> that vegan chick? <laughs> uh, that vegan chick. You know what I'm talking about. I don't see. I really don't see the problem. 
All right, 215. It's probably time to pull that thing in soon. I don't know. It's been a while since I smoked a tri-tip. I don't really know how I want it, how far I want it. But I might pull it in soon, let it rest. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm kind of hamstrung now. What to do? I guess I can pre-cook the, uh, <clears throat> pre-cook some of the veg. Where the hell's my wok? There you are. Mm -hmm. Make ceviche with what? With what shall I ceviche? Mm -hmm. Dude stole my walk. Yeah, I did. Sniped it. Should have been faster. Should have held on to your walk a little better. It's not my problem. <laughs> Sounds like not my problem. Gonna cry. Kind of stuck when it comes to steaks. Seasoning is a mix of salt, pepper, and Ceylon cinnamon. A little like uh, lean to it, jerk lean to it. Pulling McGuire quote, yeah. Got a problem with that? I feel like I get stuck in spices sometimes. Like I use a lot of uh, Chipotle and smoked paprika and cayenne. Um, but I, I used to use a lot of coriander and cumin. That's yeah, okay. I, I feel like moving around. You like what you like. And that changes over time. Mm -hmm. Love smoked paprika. My secret is I'm always crying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I've recently been working with a lot of, um, I've been working zest into my spice rubs, which has been very fun. Um, lime zest. Lime zest plus uh, smoked paprika, salt, black pepper, and coriander. God, that'll take you places. Uh, not coriander leaves, the, the seeds, rather, not the leaves. <laughs> I do like the leaves, too, but I'm specifically referring to the seeds here. That's a genetic thing. It is, yes, it is a genetic thing. You've never heard anyone say they like coriander? Well, I don't say I like coriander, but I like cilantro, which is coriander. I think cilantro is quite good. My dad, however, hates it. Can't stand it. He absolutely despises it. I don't remember what he says it tastes like. It's not soap. Soap isn't his go-to for that. It's something else. Something hilarious, actually. Blue cheese? Mm -mm, not for me. <laughs> that one I'm against. I am not a fan. There are very specific occasions where I like blue cheese. Not on my steak, please. Blue cheese has mold in it. All cheese has mold.
Mm-hmm. That's why I call it a moldy sauce. like my steaks naked? Whoa. Did you, are you perhaps a food writer? 50 shades of steak? You could write it. Turning random internet drama into songs. Uh, I guess I'll save that watch for later. <laughs> I've never seen it. But yeah, I'm definitely not uh, not a big blue cheese person. There's like there's like one cheese that's that's not it's not a blue. Um, but I remember having this gorgeous cheddar that had they put the ash line in the middle of the the cheese and let it just just start um, molding. But they were very, very, um, very insistent that it was not a blue cheese, even though it had like this blue, like edge on it. But they were very insistent, not a blue. And I thought it was great. It was very cheesy, very cheddary. Um, it's the only, it's the only like ash filled cheese that I've ever really enjoyed. Most times I'm pretty out on that. I just don't care for that. I just don't care for it very much. Yeah, I, I feel like you're right, Zerato. It is kind of, uh, it's one of those more divisive, divisive items. Some people love it, some people can't stand it. There's very rarely a, a middle ground crowd for, for blue cheese. What is this? Is this some kind of Betty Bye song? What's happening here? I'm not ready to go to sleep. That was good for me though. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna put it back on. Can't do blue cheese. Yeah, I'm in that group. I'm in the can't do it, don't like it group for blue cheese. No judgment though.
You could eat limitless, limit, limitless amounts of blue. Yeah. I mean, I already have cheese problems, right? You guys know I don't love cheese as I'm anti, <laughs> anti um, dairy anyway. It fucks me up. I don't love cheese to begin with. And then blue is just the wrong, it's the wrong way on flavor. <clears throat> Maybe I'll try, I haven't had it in a while though. I'm gonna try it again soon. See how my palate's changed. It's been a couple years since the last eating any blues. Big Terry's worth keeping an eye on. Yeah, true. They're getting scared. They're getting scared of people going towards non-dairy milks. You have anything non-dairy? Here's our glossy boy. So we went with the smoke. Uh, I'm not sure. I might go go for a little bit longer. I think it'll be fine to be honest. But non-dairy tofu, moldy tofu. Isn't that how you start making koji? No, you do that with rice. Sounds good. I'd try it. I'd try it at least once. Um, try to do some, some mold. I know that mold is, a lot of people don't, don't initially take it for something that can be good, but hey, it definitely has its moments. What's your dream restaurant? Um, let me uh, let me put some butter on this and then we'll talk. My dream restaurant to open to own is uh, is the concept Nourish. Uh, basically, it's like an omakase style kitchen where. It's 30, 30 odd seats, right? 30 odd seats um, spread out along what's essentially a bar, but the bar stands. So the seats and the table are stepped above the kitchen itself rather than a bar. So you come in and you're facing inwards down into the kitchen, right? And then the kitchen is myself and a small team and we do what we do here just for guests uh, every night well maybe not every night most of the days right and I want to have a lean towards bringing in younger chefs and younger cooks and giving them a platform um, to create and some you know the idea is to have guest chefs and have a young a younger team of people who are very creative very full of energy um, <laughs> and not allow them to get burnt out by the constant grind of what most restaurants are right you know basically okay here here, here it is basically I quit my job and the only restaurant I'll ever probably work in again is, is the restaurant that I want to work in. And that's the restaurant that I've designed here, is the restaurant that I would want to work in, one that takes care of its people, one that puts the cooks forward rather than, you know, <laughs> we can't run this restaurant without them, but they're going to be the lowest paid, hardest work people in the kitchen or in the entire building. All right. The cuisine 
is New American, which always makes me giggle because New American doesn't mean anything, which is why it's amazing. <laughs> it means nothing. It means if it exists, you can incorporate it into the menu. And it's lovely. Uh, it's going to be prefix and reservation only. There's no way, I think, to manage uh, manage an entire show like that. Um, I just realized I said prefixed. Whatever. Without, I think, setting blocks of time, like people are going to come in here and then we're going to have them ushered out here, right? You know? So anything goes. Yeah. The idea behind New American is that it's local locally sourced typically um, rotating menu most things are most things are um, allowed uh, a lot of times the roots of the menu kind of have basis in southern cuisine at least the ones I've seen I'm sure that new American restaurants in the north are a little different but a lot of times they, the menu roots are in like home style um, cuisine. And you'll see like grits and sprouts and all sorts of like hearty foods on there. But really under the label, so many things are, are allowed. I'll probably come up with a new label <laughs> to be honest of what we're calling our cuisine. There's a restaurant in my town called The Revolving Door where they have a new guest all the time small fixed staff. Hey, very cool. Very cool. Yeah. New American Millennial Burgers. Burgers. Yeah, there's a lot of burgers out there. New New American. <laughs> Look at that butter just drained down. I want to cut into this bad boy so bad. Like I really want to cut into it. I'm not going to. <laughs> Not until it's rested, but I want to. Ooh, I want to. Native dishes. Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah. I really hope that the people running that are native. I really do. I, I hope that it's not another... Well. <laughs> you know? I imagine they'd be Native American, but like... If it wasn't, tisk tisk. Haven't we taken enough from them already? Mm -mm -mm. Refuse to watch such a juicy piece of meat before bed. Hold on, let me bring it back. Let me bring it back. You don't want to look at this? Sorry, let me move it out of frame real quick. I'll just put it somewhere. Um, I'll put it over, over, or maybe up, maybe up over here. I'll put it on this shelf back here. Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> he turned it off. <laughs> smart. That was smart. Mm hmm hmm. Okay. I quit. Tell me, give him his two seconds. I haven't had to two second anyone in a long time. Benny, what the hell is that? <laughs> Give him the two seconds. That's an amazing joke. Also terrible, but also amazing. <laughs> Benny, it's been a while. But we have an old tradition of giving people two seconds time out when they tell a really, really bad, bad joke. By really bad, I of course mean really good. <laughs> Haven't done it in a long time, but that one, that one, that one earned it. <laughs> that one earned, you earned your time out. Perfect timing, perfect, top, very topical, 10 out of 10 execution. I don't want to torture myself here. Well, 
technically I'm the one doing the torturing. You're just along for the ride. I could just make mac and cheese every night. Why do I only tell bad jokes so I don't get timed out? <laughs> No, you're good. You're good. We uh, we only have one rule. It's a little vulgar, but the rule is don't be a dick. Very broad rule, but pretty easy to follow. <laughs> That's it for me then. <laughs> He's out. He broke the one rule. There's your dinner. That's it, and that's what you're eating today. Peppers and onions. Peppers and onions. <laughs> that's it. Enjoy. I did not know about this rule. <laughs> well, it says it when you come in. You have to, you have to acknowledge the one rule. The only rule that there is. Mm -hmm. I were pretty lenient, I think. Kind of a kind of a one strike. You're free, you get one get out of jail free. And you get several warnings, typically. And then, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. You would enjoy a plate of peppers and onions? What about a bowl plate? What about that? All right. Now what, chat? Is this person going to show up anytime soon, or...? Badass hasn't even shown her face in chat yet. Oh. That's why I don't bring my phone on stream. That's why I leave it out of my pocket so I never wind up looking at it. I can't read today. Can't read today, that's true. Didn't read the rules. You read that though. <gasps> Got him. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Doomch, kadoomch, kadoomch, kadoomch. All right. Time to take my nice tangy tomato base. In there, there's balsamic, apple cider vinegar, tomato, brown sugar, maple, coriander, ginger, garlic, little uh, chipotle, uh, obviously. Actually, I haven't even salted it yet. Just got enough sodium already from the paste, I guess. Yeet. Adults suck. I'm the kid that's watching the stream. God damn it. Don't you read the Twitch rules and regulations? Let's be honest. Wait, you've never tasted maple syrup before. Wait, no access to it? Any Canadians in chat? Anybody, or are you like allergic or something? Canadians. <laughs> Yeah, to get this man the hookup. How can you go without tasting maple syrup your whole life? It's gotta happen. Pretty sure kids don't floss anymore? True. Flossing died the second adults started doing it. Right? Honestly? <laughs> that reminds me of, uh... <laughs> That reminds me of Ninja's New Year's shit. 
Does anyone remember that? Some shops do have it, but it's not a big thing. Maple, maple syrup is very good. Of course, as everyone always says when talking about maple syrup, you gotta get the real stuff. Everyone says that because the difference between the fake and the real is very stark. I've only seen his face and name. Um, I don't know why I've seen this. Hold on. Let me find it. It's pretty bad. It was a meme. And it was a bad one. Hold on. Let's pause this music. This is more TF2 music, by the way. That was the medic theme. Uh... Okay, let me just make this bigger. Chat, prepare for the most cringe you've ever seen in your life. Can you guys hear this? Let me crank this up a little bit. <laughs> the, the most cringe you've ever seen in your life. This is when flossing died. This right here. This is when it died. <laughs> Look at all these people. They're just all standing, standing there watching him. Oh my God. Amazing. Amazing. One of my favorites. We got to thank Ninja for that one. That's when it died. Oh shit, your ears. Sorry, chat. <laughs> your ears. Dies of cringe. Exactly. What up, Marcus? What's up, homie? How are you? Sorry, chat. I know, your ears. I just murdered your ears. I don't know why that video was so quiet. Marcus, what's up? Chat, shout out to Marcus, the OG food and drink streamer. The person that got me into streaming, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but one of the people I first met when I was starting out on this platform. And uh, Marcus is an excellent chef. Don't let him tell you different. Busy and stuff, makes sense. Same, to be honest. Same, very busy. I'm a busy lad these days. Busy, busy. I'm gonna mute myself real quick. No one ever asked me when I can play Dota? <laughs> Yo, this looks like hot sauce now. Looks like Frank's Red Hot. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Random, when can you play Dota? You want to play this week? We can do it. Mm-mm-mm. 
Mm-mm. Get the anger foot demo on Steam? Why? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more tomato product to that though. Add a little bit more of our tomato base to that. That is very tasty, but not enough. Not enough flavor, not enough tomato flavor. Are you doing streaming full time and working? Well, I'm down to five days a week from six. Uh, <clears throat> and the work, the work that I'm doing is not like super intense. Um, but, so I wouldn't say that I'm streaming full time. I don't get 40 hours, that's for sure. Do, 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 do. But it is still like my main thing that I do every day. Mm -hmm. I'd probably do put 40 hours of work in a week. Who am I kidding? <laughs> Who am I kidding? Not actively on stream, but like between planning and shopping and all that shit. It's such a joy to stream to us. That's right. That's right, Zerato. It's a joy. It doesn't count as work because I'm having fun. Yum. Delicious. That's tasty. Needs a little bit of salt, tiny bit of pepper, but it's pretty good. <laughs> now I'm blushing. Good. I wanted to connect with you in that moment. Make sure you really knew. You really knew. My feelings, my true feelings and emotions. Closing on 1 a.m. now. Time for beauty sleep. I'll be a few decades late. Ooh, that almost turned you in two seconds. All right, pause. Thanks so much for dropping in and hanging out. It was a pleasure to meet you. Sleep well. Hopefully we catch you on another one. If not, I'll always remember that onion thing. Pretty much forever. <laughs> I'll probably never forget it. I'll let you know if I ever come up with anything to do with the onion ash itself. I can't. I can't with this song. I hope. I hope that wasn't anyone's like main tune. And they haven't heard it in years, and I just skipped it. Sorry, but not sorry. Luckily, I'm so ugly, no need for sleep. Uh, what do you mean? You gotta get your ugly sleep in. Nobody ever talks about that, but it's a true thing. You gotta get your ugly sleep in, too. So if you haven't been sleeping, you've been fucked it up. Yeah, you've been fucking it up. You do that too much, you're gonna get beautiful and then you're gonna need beauty sleep. Yeah, it's a bummer, I know. That's just how it is. <laughs> Life trolls you. That's like, what, three hours? <laughs> yeah, you got it exactly. You see, you already knew, you already knew. <laughs> Massive high bags. That's what I got last night. I got ugly sleep. But I did it with class, okay? With class. All right, I need a new music. Any, uh, any song requests? Any song suggestions? I need a change.
I like co-op sleep. Is that cooperative? Or is that like you've taken it for yourself, you've co-opted it? Can I get the weekend? Dun 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 dun. The weekend. I hope there's a song called The Weekend because that's what I'm gonna play. There is. <laughs> this isn't what he was looking for. I hope. Unless he five head played me, and this is actually what he was looking for. <laughs> I wasn't looking for the artist The Weekend. In that case. Kudos to you. Cooperative sleep. That's when you sleep with someone else. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool thing to do. Can we listen to Gorilla's Melancholy Hill? Very foggy. I was looking for the artist. Haha! I did it. I outsmarted him. Mm -hmm. What's up, Kaylin? What's happening? All right. I'll put on your actual song. I don't know if this is the one you want, but this is the one you're getting. If this isn't the one you want, please uh, dial 1-800, tell Lara Salton, and uh, someone will get with you, uh, and they will uh, address your concerns, and promptly send you, um, you know, reparations in the mail. All right, I'm going to take a quick restroom break. I'll be right back. Okay, I'll be right back. Uh, so, hang out for just one second. Maybe I can put you guys outside. You can watch the cars go by. See it. I'll put it there. Stay right there. Where frick do you think you're going? Huh? Nowhere. We're back. My beauty sleep. It's okay, you can get one night of ugly sleep. <laughs> you get one night of ugly sleep, that's okay. What are we making? Smoke tri-tip with uh, crispy potatoes and tomato vinaigrette. <laughs> Said tri-tip is right here. <laughs> oh, 
Ugly sleep requires a partner. What? That's the first I've heard of it. Uh, focus, please. There's some pieces off the edge. <laughs> it's pretty fucking tasty. Okay. <laughs> That's really good. What was the seasoning? Um, God, that's good. <laughs> Um, it was salt, uh, it, was, it was, I marinated, quote, in quote, marinated, uh, it in sesame oil, soy sauce, chili oil, and salt, and then I put that on on the smoker using the cherry wood, uh, a little bit of onion, the onion peel, which we just put on and used as smoke. <clears throat> um, and that was it. And then it rested with butter. And it's really good. <laughs> it's really good. Okay. Come over here. Let's do it. A little oil in there. <laughs> that redlined it. <laughs> that was the hardest red line I've ever seen. It did not like all that noise. Okay, get some oil in here, get that hot. We'll start with the potatoes. Potatoes were par cooked earlier, so they look like beasts. They're cut, they're soft. You're, you could eat these if you wanted to straight away. All right, we're gonna put those in first with the most amount of oil. Not a ton, we're not trying to deep fry or anything. But these definitely gotta go first so that we can uh, use most of that oil up. <laughs> Potatoes, boil and mash them, put them in the stew. Uh, good night, Axe, if you haven't left already, which you probably have. Uh, Night. You want me? I'll get these nice and crispy. Why? What up, waffles? Why gloves? Um, I had them on, so I was when I was using the when I was handling the meat. And I just haven't taken them off yet. The cooked meat, not the raw meat. Eight different varieties of basil. What are the varieties, if you don't mind me asking? Levitating? I do like this song. Right foot, left foot, levitating. <laughs> 